Okay, hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you um, a very advanced technique called NM non matching CTLS. Um, CTLS is a method I came up with in 2010, and uh, I have some other videos about it, so I'm not going to bore you here. Uh, basically, you get F2L minus 1, and then any random 1x1x2 one by one by up here, and then after you get that random 1x1x2, one by one by you solve everything all at once. Um, and it's between one to three moves, maybe even five moves, if you can cancel, uh, faster than just pure uh, ZZ or block building with ZBLL. But with um, that's because you have so many more options to do the one by one by two up here, and sometimes it's already built. Um, but with NMCTLS, um, this is something I came up with completely on the fly at Indiana, where I got my 36 mean. Um, which isn't that good, I'm really bad at block building. But it's a fun FMC technique that some people who know full ZBLL can use. And I'm going to show you how it works. Um, with NM CTLS, instead of doing the 2x2, two two, instead of doing the square, you can do any random block. And if you do three random, completely random 1x1x2s, one by one by that are the easiest ones and the shortest moves to make, you can sometimes cancel a bunch of those moves with a ZBLL and then solve everything all at once after you get three random 1x1x2s. One by one by and the cool thing is the chance that that happens, like you getting a bunch of 1x1x2s, one by one by is actually pretty high. So um, I'm going to go ahead and skip to 2x2x3 uh, two by two by um, and I have a 2-gen scrambler made by uh, Michael Gottlieb. So let's get started. Um, Michael Gottlieb is also known as QQRef, and he's a really cool guy. If you can hang out with him at a competition, you totally should. So here is a scrambled cube with a 2x2x3. Two by two by um, edge is oriented, so uh, some FMC people choose to orient first or last. Um, I prefer um, making blocks and praying and hoping that my edges are oriented, and that usually works sometimes. Um, but uh, if that doesn't work, I try some ZZ stuff and I get oriented edges. So, just right off the bat, I see 1x1x2 one by one by here, these two are, and there's another one right here, so there's uh, one right here, and uh, one right here. Just randomly, there are a bunch of these things, but you also have to line them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do these two. And the cool thing about NMCTLS is, it doesn't have to match. Wow, I already made that block accidentally, just crazy random stuff will happen. So once you make those blocks, you put them into F2L, like that. And then the next step is, since in FMC you get three cubes, um, you ignore the top, just completely ignore the top, and emulate this non-matching block on another cube. So the way I see it is I do this one first, so red, blue, blue, white, that's just R2. And then this block, it's here. So I want to get that there. So that's a that's a cancellation right there. So it turns into r prime u2 r prime. Um, so I want to get this cube into this state and just hope that it cancels because if it does, that trims at least two to three moves. Well, maybe one to, one to three. We'll see off the t final move count. Um, and I didn't have to build f2l. I didn't make any green edges. This is non-matching blocks. So the cool thing in FMC is you can use pen and paper. So I do three squares. Edge, corner, orientation, ECO. So for edges, I see um, to match this, this has to go here. This goes here. This goes here. It's a U-perm. So we draw out, draw out the U perm. And for corners, I kind of cheated since this is a two gen scramble. We don't have to fill anything for corners, but this is actually an X perm. To get this here to match this state, it's actually an X perm, which you may also know as U2. So X perm. So I'm going to change things up 
I'm going to do U2, and this is only for setup. This will not show up in the final move. Um, U2. So then I do another one. And then we reevaluate the edges. So it becomes. What? This edge goes here. Um, that edge goes. Okay. So it becomes this U perm. Um, corners, since we did the uh, U2, just for the setup. Uh, because you can always rotate in FMC and then write the correct notation. Uh, corners is blank because we did the U2 from the X perm. And that this is what changes this into this. If uh, you like math, it's basically a, like a transformation matrix that simplifies things. This is just set up. And for orientation, we look at how the how the corners move in order to get it to this state. So um, this needs to go uh, right down here. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. And it has to like add up. If you do BLD, you know how uh, orientations work. I like to do uh, one for clockwise, two for anti-clockwise. Um, and then we do all of this stuff onto our last cube, because in FMC you're permitted to use three cubes. So we don't touch corners, and then set up the u perm, and then this. So you want to do the opposite of this to get to this state. I know it's complicated, but um, if this works, it's going to be crazy. So I actually I forgot a lot of ZBLL. I used to know all of ZBLL, but this is a 2GLL. So um, we have the U-perm. Now I think this one is U-prime and then you do like R-U-2, R-prime U-2. And then you split the pair into a, trigger, into a trigger and then you do U-2 and then you do the trigger back in. So yeah, and then you split this pair and then you set up the trigger and then you do that. Um, so Hopefully, if I wrote this down correctly, I will solve, put this cube into this state, and then pray for a cancellation. cancellation. Um, and there's some tricks, like if you know the cancellation is going to be on this side, you want to do the ZBLL from this side. Um, oops. So, I don't want to mess this up on camera. So let me try to set this up again and then completely write it out. So R U prime R prime U two R U prime R prime U two R U R prime. So I wrote out the ZBLL and here we go. I hope I don't mess this up on camera. I think from this angle. So you see how the cube looked scrambled? We're gonna we're gonna solve it hopefully. So uh Okay, and then it canceled. We have a solved cube. And that is NMCTLS. Uh thanks for watching. Um and I know this tutorial is probably gonna help absolutely nobody because it's so abstract and so few people know these algs. But with just 2GLL, your chances of getting an NMCTLS are really, really high because those blocks are pretty, pretty common. So uh, if this helps someone, then I've done my mission. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks.